Hi everybody, Chris Bodry here, and I'm going to be doing a review today of Thrawn Treason, or Star Wars Thrawn Treason, which is one of the new canon uh, Star Wars novels, and this is by Timothy Zahn, who uh, has books, Star Wars books, um, some of which include the Expanded Universe Thrawn Trilogy, as well as the new canon Thrawn Trilogy, um, of which this book is the third uh, book in that in that trilogy, in that series. Um, although, I will say, and this could be a spoiler, though I don't think so, um, that it sounds like from the end of this book that we might be in store for some more uh, canon Thrawn novels, which would be awesome. Um, I'm not, I don't really care about being limited to a trilogy. It doesn't really need to be three books for me. You can make 20 Timothy Zahn. Please make 20 Thrawn books. I'll be very entertained, very happy. And um, yeah, so don't feel limited to three. And I also want to emphasize that later with another point that I'll make in a little bit. But anyways, so Thrawn Treason, Timothy Zahn's new Star Wars Thrawn, Game novel, as I said, uh, which just came out recently, about a month or two ago. And I've been really excited for this book because um, I said this was the third book in the trilogy, the new canon trilogy. And the first book was amazing. I haven't done a review of it, um, because I read it a long time ago, and then I kind of wanted to reread it before I do a review of it, and then I just haven't had time. So, but I really enjoyed that book. Um, the, the first, might as well get them out, the first Thrawn canon novel. Really liked it. And then the second novel was Thrawn Alliances, which I also greatly enjoyed, though slightly less than the first novel. Um, and I do have a book review of this. I don't remember exactly what I rated it. I think it was like a three or four out of five. Great novel. And the ending also, uh, it ended alluding to, I don't want to say cliffhanger, but it ended alluding to really cool things to come. Which is why, as I said, I was really excited for Thrawn Treason. And I wait almost a year for it. But it's here. It came. Read it very fast. And I'm, I, hmm, I had a good time. It was very entertaining. And ultimately, I'm happy with it. I really liked it, especially because it sounds like we'll get even more from it. Um, what I will say is, I was expecting the story to have a little more, a little more in it um, from what it was setting up, seemed to be setting up in the second novel. Um, and if this does end up being the last Thrawn book, canon Thrawn book, I will be a little bit disappointed, ultimately, with the Thrawn trilogy, I will say. But if there does end up being more Thrawn books, then this book was perfect, because it does, because then we get a longer stretch of content, more content, and as I said, I enjoyed the content that was in this book. Um, it just depends on the context, which I don't know yet, of whether or not I'm getting more. So and the fact that this is a third in what seems to be a trilogy, indicating that it might be the last book. So, I struggle with the rating it because of my high expectations for, for what it would be. Um, but that's not really fair, considering the fact that what it was, I greatly enjoyed, and it sounds like what I was expecting will be coming in the future. Um, that said, I realize I haven't really talked about the plot of the book at all, um, though this is the third book in the trilogy, so if you're watching this, I'm assuming you already read the first two novels and have an idea who Thrawn is, Star Wars Universe, all that stuff. Um, but this book we leave where we kind of left off, where Thrawn, it's a period in between, um, in between, what's in between? It's in between A New Hope and Rebels. And then after Rebels is Rogue One, and then, oh, excuse me, not, it's in between Revenge of the Sith. And rebels, and then after that is Rogue One, and then A New Hope. Um, and there's more novels in between all of that that I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, but it's so it's during the reign of the Empire before the rebellion really comes to fruition in its entirety, and before obviously the they destroy the Death Star, and also before the Death Star is created or completed, I should say. Which brings me to another point. Uh, in this book, we have the return of director Krennic, who is a character um, that a lot of people, I think, were disappointed with in Rogue One. Um, he was sort of set up as the main villain, and I guess kind of was. 
Um, but I, even though I'll say, not that this is a review of Rogue One, the movie, um, but just briefly I'll say that I was, uh, I enjoyed, I enjoyed director Krennic in Rogue One. And he wasn't in this book to the extent that I might have liked, given the fact that I like him as a character, not that I like him, like, not that I would be friends with him or anything. Um, but it was interesting, it was really cool to see him again in this book, especially with the rivalry that he has between Thrawn and even more so with another one of my favorite Star Wars characters, uh, underrated character, which is Grand Moff Tarkin, who is also featured in this book to an extent. So all those returning Imperial characters, very cool, very entertaining. And okay, so Thrawn is working on his, um, what's it called, uh, his special TIE fighters. Can't remember the name off the top of my head. I finished this a few days ago, and now it's gonna bug me. Sorry about that, and I'm unprepared. But he's, you know, his tie. I think they're interceptors, maybe. His special tie fighters that um, that he's working on, and they're better than the rest of the Imperial tie fighters. He's working on that project, and Director Krennic is working on his Death Star project, and Thrawn is sort of enticed into figuring out a way of helping that project, even though he doesn't agree with it. Um, and they come across the Gricks, I want to say, from the last novel, Thrawn Alliances, which were featured as a kind of villain in that novel. Um, so the, we see the return of the Gricks, we see more of the Chiss Ascendancy, which I find very interesting. Oh, also, how could I forget, we also see, finally, the return of can't think of his name off the top of my head. Eli, who was, excuse me for going out of frame, Thrawn's companion in Thrawn, the first novel of the Canon Trilogy. So that was awesome too, and to see more details about the Chiss Ascendancy and how they operate, and also about Thrawn's possibly um, divided allegiances between the Chiss Ascendancy and the Imperial Empire. So, Thrawn Alliance, or excuse me, Thrawn Treason, I am going to give a 4 out of 5. Very fun book, very good book. If you're a Star Wars fan, if you're a Thrawn fan, you'll like it. Um, that said, if you're coming off, which I assume you are, of Thrawn Alliances and you're expecting a ton, I would say that to go into Thrawn Treason, knowing that it's going to be a good time, but it's not going to be any... There's not going to be any massive fireworks that are going to blow you out of the water. So, 4 out of 5, Throne Treason. Thank you for watching.